Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut. I still don't know what that means, because I'm a lazy fuck and I haven't bothered to look it up, but I figured... Oh, also, again, I have not done a preemptive run of this, so whatever happens in this is what is going to happen. Um, we're going to go ahead, go up these stairs, head up to the left side of this hallway, and we're going to go... Uh, Handle that staircase that we were at earlier, and I've got to like relearn all the controls because again, I've only been playing this like every Sunday, so I'm still kind of like trying to figure things out. Uh, the door is over on this side of this thing, I believe. Yes. All right. Okay, cool. So we're heading to this door, and I think this is the door that leads right to that uh, staircase. Let me equip you. Okay, that's fine. Combine with the gun. See, now why doesn't Resident Evil 4 let you reload in the screen? I mean, I guess that would be kind of cheating in a way. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Why are you. Okay, hold on. Equip. Oh, God. Oh my god, I'm probably gonna die. Ah, surprisingly my health is okay. I can't tell if this guy under me is dead or not. That is not really good. Alright, well. I'm assuming they're both dead. Neither of them attacked me. Oh, let's see what's in this door. It's locked. A carving of a helmet. Wait, do I have a helmet? Is this a helmet? Check. What is this? It's a shield. Huh. Okay. Let's see what's over here. A numeric key panel, and I don't know the pass number. Well, I could have told you that, but... But wait a second, I'm the master of unlocking. I should be able to do that, right? Just fucking know the code? No? It's a little much? Alright. I see where you draw the line there, Capcom. Fair enough. One, two, three, four. Jesus, please just die. Okay, he's dead. Alright. One, two, oh shit. Two, three, four. Okay, he's zip two. Sweet. Oh, please get him the door, thank you. Alright. Okay, creepy music box. Music, that's awesome. Vitamins and serums. Ink ribbon, yes. Uh, we're not going to save right now, but it is good to know that there is actually a save room here. So, let's keep exploring. Da, 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 da. How is everybody's day? Is it a good day? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. And he's not dead. Now you are. Aha! Oh, I've got six shots. That's not what I wanted to hear. It's locked. A carving of an armor. Oh my... S Jesus, what room in this game? <sighs> it's like every single room is like carving of an armor. Carving of an armor. Hey, did you know that you need a carving of an armor? Well, that went like all but. Oh, no, every single one of my shots. Every single one. Alright. Alright. Come on. 
Got to be really careful here with my ammo. Got to really make sure that... Ah, oh, I used the lockpick. What magic awaits inside? Probably nothing really spectacular. Nothing spe <laughs> yeah, wow. Wow. Literally nothing spectacular. Oh! Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Yes. No, I know I can't use- oh my god. Alright. Is that was- is that all that was in here? None of them look useful? No. Oh, alright. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't open the closet? Come on now. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, I hate you. Jesus. She punted his head off. What is that? I don't even know what that is. It's probably at least... Um... I'll keep the green herb. I'll use the spray. What is that? Will you take shells? Oh, shotgun shells! Oh, yes, of course I'm gonna take the shotgun shells. Jesus, why in the actual fuck would I not? Okay, that's good though. Now I have more ammo for the shotgun and more ammo for my pistol, so I'm not as concerned about my everything as I was before. I unlocked it. What? Is this that uh, other door in the main hall? Oh, alright. Okay. Well, let's go back. I forgot a timer again. I'm a brilliant motherfucker. Let's see what's this way. Oh, take a sip of my trusty drink. Non-alcoholic, mind you. Oh, yeah! I remember this puzzle. Okay, so I already have the first piece of this. Oh no, what is that? That is a wind crest. Sure. Alright. Cool. Thanks, Tony. Get it? It's a Tony the Tiger joke. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. So, let me actually talk about a topic that isn't Resident Evil right now. Um, I don't know if any of you guys uh, have been watching Red vs. Blue, but I am super fucking excited. Uh, this season has just been absolutely phenomenal. Okay, this is not gonna be good. No pump. Water seems to be sampled here. The lid is open. Oh! Gotcha. Hey guys, remember that chemical that I picked up a while back? We're gonna go grab that. And we're going to put that in the water pump there, and it's going to kill all those plants. So that way we don't have to waste ammo trying to do it ourselves. I mean, technically we still are killing all those plants ourselves, but... <sighs> Whatever. Technicalities, it gets annoying. Let's just do the thing. Anyway, I'm really fucking excited about Red vs. Blue. Um... The one thing I'm not really... Okay, you know what? This is going away. And I, I'm i going to put that away, too. Because I don't think I need that for a little bit. Chemical. That's coming with us, though. Alright. Now, according to the uh, trailer, Church is going to die. And I'm really fucking... Uh, 
I am not too happy about that. As I'm sure most uh, Rivers of Blue fans aren't. But at the same time, the most major character. Well, that's not. They killed off Tax. Huh. I don't know. Maybe he really does die. Anyway, let's get back to Resident Evil. I want to. I want to talk some more about this game. Just so we're coming back over here. Oh, okay. The old pump water seems to be sent from here. The lid is open. No. Put the chemical in. I like how they all legit, like, freak the fuck out. Haha. <laughs> so now they're all dead. And thus, I no longer have to worry about them. Oh, hello, what is this? A key? Sure. That's the only thing that was over here? Oh no, hello. Yeah, man. Yes, that's why I fucking... Okay, sweet, so now I essentially have a uh, full health again. Oh my god, these controls. Alright, cool. That's a thing that happened. Alright, so let's go exploring again. Dora the motherfucking explorer, except this is Jill, not Dora. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I got no idea what I'm doing. The Alzheimer's kicking in again. It's, it's not good. Not good at all. Where's my medicine? I forgot. God damn it, I love Christopher Walken. I don't care what anybody says, Christopher Walken is just so full of talent. Just, he's so typecast because of his voice, though. Which I understand. It's kind of like Gilbert Gottfried is that, like, Affleck duck. You really only place him with characters that are, like, angry or something. Like, I get it. And then Christopher Walken always plays somebody who seems like it, they're at least mildly confused about what's going on. Except for in, uh, what was it, Balls of Fury? He was actually, like, the main dude. And he was pretty competent as the main dude, so I guess not all the time, but... I don't know. Guys, I seriously have no idea what I'm doing at this point. I feel like this would be a better game to stream, honestly get a little help from, like, the audience or whatever. But, I, uh, I'm still trying to figure out this whole streaming thing. So as soon as I get that figured out, I will let you guys know. And, uh, we can have this whole thing as, like, a session or, like, uh, not a session. Jesus, that sounds sexual. Why don't you sit down for a session? Just like, no. No, I just came here to play video games, but, um, Thank you. Oh, okay, that's where... Alright. Okay, and that's our dead guy. Our token dead guy. Uh, what's this? Can I... Use that, or not? Oh, uh, this is Moonlight Sonata Room. Okay. It's locked from inside. I don't like you. Alright, fine. So there's nothing really I can do over here. Which is fine. We will figure something out. Uh, I guess we'll go to the other side of the house then. Because I have no idea what to do at this point. Again, like, I mean, you guys are heard me say this a few times. Wait. Uh, no, that needs a carving of the thing. So, 
So now I can't remember any doors that needed a key. Hmm. The mansion key. I mean, typically I feel like that would open up the actual mansion itself. Like, we would have to do some sort of, like, quest just to get in here, but... I don't know! Oh, music cut off. Uh, can I get in here yet? Oh, yep! Hey! Alright, that's a thing. Oh, shit. Okay, I do have the- uh, I'm- yeah. I'm not fucking around. The zombie dogs suck. Oh my god, I hate you so much. God damn it. Oh my god. If I die to this dog right now, I'm gonna lose my shit. Thankfully, I didn't. A rusty boiler, nothing strange. Okay, yeah, but clearly there's like gotta be something going. Really? No, come on now. There's no way that that key was just so that I could get how. Oh, hello. Wrong button. There. Man, that's all the key was for? Whatever. Have I been in this room? I feel like I've passed this room maybe a few dozen times and just never actually gone in it. Oh, this is the bathroom. That has literally nothing in there for me. Gotcha. Alright, well, I guess we'll go over here. This is outside, so... Let's see what we can... Or maybe it's not outside. Okay. What's... What's over here? See, here's the thing. I know that I've been in these rooms before. I just can't remember for the life of me what any of them are. Okay, this is the save room. Hmm. I feel like I haven't accomplished that much this, uh, this time. So, uh... Let's, uh, let's play a little further. It's locked, a carving of a helmet. Well, I don't have that. Whew. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Ah. Uh, all right. So, here's the thing. That is a, well, okay, let me go back in. Because you have to do this in a certain order or you get wrecked by these crows. The picture is entitled From Cradle to Grave. See, those crows, they do not like me. Of a lively boy, there's a switch below. Will I push it? No. 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 Okay, old man. A boy. Of an infant. No. Picture of a young man. No. Have a newborn baby, there's a switch below it. No. Picture of a tired middle aged man. There's a switch below. No. 
Okay. And then this picture more or less tells you cradle to grave. Okay. So. This is the newborn, right? Yes. Okay. Now... This is an infant. Okay. We'll push this one. Is this the boy? Young man. No. This is young boy? Yes. The young man. Yes, because the other one on the far side is a... Uh... Okay, and then this is the tired middle-aged man, right? Yes. And... Oh fuck, I can't remember if I pushed that one over there. Ah oh, shit, I'm going with it. Bored looking man. Yes. Oh man. Cross your fingers, folks. He's entitled the end of life. Oh man. Yes? Okay, so far I'm not getting wrecked by crows, but this is the Starcrest, so okay. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, they're not attacking. I think only if I get it wrong they attack, so... Whew. Okay, with that I feel like I can end the episode. I also just went through the wrong door, didn't I? Yup. That was a uh, brilliant move there. The thing I like about Resident Evil's puzzles is they're not overly difficult for the most part, but some of them are at least challenging. So, you don't feel like a fucking idiot roaming through these halls all the time. Just every once in a while you'll get something that kind of completely stumps you. And then you'll find something and it's like, oh, this is the answer! So yeah. But, let me go put this Starcrest away. Because, uh, I have no reason to keep this in my inventory at the moment. Okay. And... Ooh, hold on. Alright. With that, let's go ahead and save. Yes, I will. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you have a uh, suggestion for a future Let's Play, please leave it down in the comments below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace.